All right, so I'm here with former welterweight, but again, future welterweight champion, Showtime Sean Porter, his dad Kenny. How you guys doing? We're doing great. great. Good. You excited for the fight tomorrow night? Yes, Very so, excited. Yeah. Good. So you we hooked up with the PBC. Yeah. Fought on there just a few weeks back. Yeah, Spike TV. Yeah, excellent. Yeah. So how do you feel about that whole thing? I loved it. Of... Looking forward to it. Looking forward to doing it again real soon. The production is beautiful, and uh, they really lay out the red carpet for us. So it's, uh, it's fabulous events to be a part of, and I'm looking forward to doing it real soon. There's, now, there's been some great father and son teams throughout history. The Arguellos, uh, Trinidad. It's, you know, there's ins and outs to it. Some people say it's great and it works well, and other people say it's problematic. Tell, tell us your situation, how that's worked out, because what the what the pros have been, what the cons have been. You want to go? <laughs> hey, for me, for me, this guy, he, my whole life has always been there for me. So first and foremost, there's a level of respect there. There's a level of understanding there that this is my dad. Not only that, he's my manager and my trainer. And this guy's older than me. He's been through the fire. He knows what's best. So uh, I got hindsight right here. Like, <laughs> un unlike most guys. Better you know, to learn so. from his mistakes than yours, right? Exactly. <laughs> so, so, so with that being said, I just know to always follow, follow his, his lead. And uh, the rest will take care of itself. So I'm talented, he hones it, and we make it happen. It's great to have somebody that's got your back, you know that you yes, sir. trust. Yes, sir. Yeah. So how about for you? How's the race? How does it feel? How's that work for you? There's you know, kind of a shorthand. I've trained both my boys, and there's kind of a shorthand you get when you when you have that kind of just that everyday knowledge of each other, you know? Well, you More know, so than just I, train, I train numerous national champions. Yeah. I had... Five guys at the Olympic trials in 2008. Three guys made the team. One guy was the outstanding boxer. Yeah. My other son, Kenny, was a national champion like six times. Okay. But this young man right here, and I, him not being my son, let's yeah. take that out of the equation. Yeah. Yeah. Him as a person and also as a disciplined athlete has been second to no one that I've encountered. So I can recall when he's eight years old, I'm taking him to his first tournament, and I basically take some of his crayons and uh, some paper, and I draw a map. And I tell him and his brother, I said, if you follow this map. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome once again to the Nevada get to the end right here. Fame. This is where you get to go. Night with the boxing's legend. That's We've continued with him throughout his amateur career, his football Forbes, career, basketball, track and field, school, academics, the communities that he's lived in, the churches that he's been a part of. It's carried over into every aspect of his life. So I tell him all the time, how you do one thing is how you do everything. And that has equal success for him. What I like about you, Sean, is you see the fight You don't see that in all fighters. You know, sometimes they come out and fight the same fight over and over and over. So it's obvious you guys are working on things in the gym. Absolutely. What do you got going on right now? What are you focusing on? Uh, for the last month, we've been working on the jab. Yeah. <laughs> and then, hey, you know, the basics never the get old. basic but fundamental you lose sight of that. jab. Here's the, thing, here's the thing, you would think, for our, I'm 27, I've been doing this, I learned the jab, I was four years old. You would think it would be boring to me, but when he's steadily trying to correct the most simple punch in boxing, and I'm having to try improve to it. improve it, yes. it makes it not boring, it makes it challenging, it makes it, once it's done, it becomes, you know, happy and, you know, all that good stuff. So, yeah. so we, we literally sparred a guy about 12 rounds last week on different days, 12 to 15 rounds on different days. And the first round he goes out, he beats the guy up real bad, he comes back to the corner, I said, you flunked that round. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't say anything, he's just looking at me and he's kind of got a question mark on his face like how could I have failed because I just beat this guy up real bad. I said because you're only allowed to use the jab. Yeah. That's it. That's all. Nothing else. Because this is what we were working on. So now in order for you to transition what you're working on, on the floor work, to the bag, to the mitts, to the sparring session, to the actual fight, you've got now you've got to restrain yourself and use this and so he literally beat this guy up with a jab in every session the rest of the way nothing but a jab and i was very happy with that that's awesome that's what's yeah. going to get you back on top right yeah 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 i love it well you guys make a great team continued success thank, thank you, you for having us thanks guys where can we find you guys titleboxing.com titleboxing.com yes. excellent thank you so much guys. appreciate it thank you awesome. good to meet you man thank you. thanks, thanks.